My name is Leah Campbell and I'm a product specialist here at Haskell Micron Powder Systems in Summit, New Jersey. In this video, we're going to be discussing the setup of the Hasekawa Micro Air Jet Sieve Model X in the basic version. In order to properly operate the Hasekawa Micro Air Jet Sieve Model X in the basic version, you're going to need the unit itself, an industrial vacuum, and test sieve screens. Once you've opened the box and removed the air jet sieve, you're going to remove the component box as well. This accessory box or component box includes a brush, a hammer, the power cord to the unit, and the test sieve screen lid. Please note the test sieve screens themselves do not come with the unit. You do have to purchase those separately. We do offer test sieve screens ranging from the sizes of 20 microns all the way up to 4,750 microns. For the initial setup of the unit, we're going to be plugging in the AC power cord, the vacuum power cord, and the vacuum hose. Please note that these components here are not used in the basic version. I'm going to be taking the AC power cord and plugging it into the AC power outlet. Again, the vacuum cord plugging into the vacuum power outlet. And then the vacuum hose itself is going to be attached to the nozzle on the back of the unit labeled vacuum. Now that the initial setup is complete, we're going to power on the unit by using this power switch in the back of the unit. We're going to switch it to the on position. And that noise that you just heard is the modulating pressure valve adjusting. As the unit is powering up, the software is going through a self-test procedure. Once the ready to sieve screen is displayed, the Haskell Micro Airjet Sieve Model X in the basic version is ready to be operated. 